What is up YouTube, welcome back to the On The Gas Show and we are back with another video. Now before we get the video started guys, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. We got some badass content and we got some badass giveaways. Talking about the giveaway, we got the giveaway over here nice and clean. We actually took it to my boy Hera at A+. The truck needed a deep down wash. Now, remember guys, we dropped off the monster truck to get wrapped when we pick that truck up, which is gonna be here in a couple of days. We'll be dropping this truck off for the new wrap. We're still undecided if we're gonna go with the silver color or the blue wrap. Now, I did see a lot of comments talking about if we go blue, it's gonna be too much blue. When have you heard that, Frank, that there's gonna be too much blue? It's never too much blue, it's never too much black, it's never too much red. Exactly. Just like the SS clone that we had that we gave away, that truck was blue completely. Now, this truck, yes, if we do gray, we're going to set it off right, you know, with the silver, you know, and the blue suspension or whatever. But I also think that the blue is going to look good because the suspension is blue. You know what I'm saying? Now, the suspension is a shiny blue. If we go with the wrap, it's going to be kind of like a matte color. It's a matte chrome color. But we still haven't decided yet. Y'all make sure to comment down below. Let us know if we're going to do silver or if we're going to go blue. Now, my preference is blue. You know, I've never missed. This motherfucker. Don't miss. By the time I decide something, I already thought about it a hundred times. So, at the end of the day, it's gonna be one of you guys. It's gonna be one of you guys' truck. This is a current giveaway that we got going on right now. Every $10 spent will get you one entry. Now, we do got some shirts coming, and we do got some decals coming. Once we get the new wrap, we'll start designing the shirts, and we'll start coming up with the new stickers once we wrap the truck the color that it's gonna be. Now, yes. We can leave it black. I've seen those comments too. Why wrap it when black looks good? Exactly, it looks good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks good. But this truck was already a giveaway before, so we wanna change the look of it. If it wasn't a giveaway, we would've probably kept it black, but since it was already a giveaway, we're already gonna make some shirts. We wanna change the color, we wanna change the style, so that's why we are wrapping it a different color. And no, we're not gonna wait for the winner to ask him if he wants to wrap it or not. If you win the truck and if you don't like the color, you can unwrap it and it's gonna be black, nice shiny black. And if you don't like the blue or you don't like the silver, and you like pink, wrap that motherfucker pink if you want to, whatever, it don't matter. But right now we're gonna be working on the new SS clone that we got. Now, if you missed the video on this one, guys, this is the new SS clone that we got. Cool fact about this truck, it's all wheel drive, Frank. That's pretty sick. The original extended cab already comes in all wheel drive. Yes, the original super sport trucks, they do come all wheel drive most of the years, but they don't make super sports and single cabs. So that's why sometimes we clone them. That's we call them SS clones because we get that body kit from the extended cab and integrate it on the single caps, kind of like this one. Now, this one does have an all wheel drive setup. So this truck pulls with all four tires. It's not like crawfish. It's not like the rest of the four by four trucks that we got where we can do a burnout into and then activate the four high or four low. This one's always all wheel drive. It doesn't have any switches. It doesn't have a handle. It doesn't have anything. As you can guys see, normally we have the switch right here if it's electric or the handle down there now this one does have a full interior which is the nice super sport seats the cluster the badge on the dash the center console and all that good stuff also this truck does have a sound system by the auto shop which was built in the valley now it does have a header leak it sounds really loud it does have a leak and i'm gonna turn it off for you guys to check it out it sounds good it sounds really good. it sounds like a big block but it's a leak. So we're gonna take it right now to my boy Rolando at Aces and he's gonna hook us up and get this fixed. Also guys, the next show coming up, which is Lone Star Throwdown here in Houston, actually the north side of Houston, Conroe. When is the date for that, Frank? That's next week, February 24th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Next week, not this week. This week coming up, we got Truck Nationals February 18th, this Saturday. The weather's looking good. It ain't gonna be no rain. There's a little bit of rain during the week, but there's no rain on the weekend, which is good. The only bad thing about it, we ain't got no race trucks, bro. All the trucks are down right now. Brownie, Crawfish, Johnny Walker still getting work done. Everybody. Gremlin. Yeah. Everything is down, but hopefully, guys, we get the trucks done. We actually have all week to work on the trucks. We have all week to test, but it looks like we're gonna be testing Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It always happens that before for an event, bro, we're like testing at the last minute. It's always crunch for some reason. Even though we try to beat the crunch, it never happens. It's always a crunch time. Remember guys, this weekend coming up, Saturday, February 18th, Truck Nationals is going down at Houston Worksway Park. Gates open at 10 a.m. You don't need to buy tickets online. You can just pull up to the gate, get your entry right there where there will be no tickets online. If you wanna attend, you just pull up and you pay uh, at the gate. 
and then you get enter. There's not gonna be no car, so if you got a car, if you wanna go test your car or go race your car, it's actually an all truck event. There's not gonna be burnouts, there's not gonna be a truck show, it's not gonna be no cruising, there's no burnouts. This one's strictly racing, guys. Truck Nationals this Saturday, you do not wanna miss out. The only car is gonna be racing, Machete. Which Majet is racing Brownie and I'm giving him three and the hit. And, um, yeah, and yeah. he's racing because he's part of On The Gas and we are the ones doing the event. So we just want to put on a show for you guys. So it's going to be pretty good. If you want to see that, make sure to pull up. Majet is getting three cars and the hit. So that means that he's going to be three cars in front and he's going to be taking off first. So it's going to be kind of tricky, Frank. I know you got way more power. I know you got way more setup, but Machete has a car and he's still turbo too. And he's pretty confident, dude. I was talking to him earlier. We talked to him all the time about it. Yeah. I'm betting that the stick shift's just not going to be able to handle that, it. That's the problem. If the yeah. car was automatic for a different kind of transmission, a different story, but Machete, he actually likes to drive manual. You yeah. know, he likes to, the standard stuff, but at the track, it's different. The transmission is actually pretty stock, right? His, oh yeah, it's stock. He just has a clutch and maybe simple shit. So if he goes too hard, he might he's gonna break it. Yeah, he can't power shift, so he can't let go. Some people power shift and just fucking throw it into the gears. He can't do that because it's gonna blow up. He can't do that. But he told me he already ordered a transmission, so he's planning on just slamming the gears in. Okay, he so if it breaks, it breaks. It already has a new transmission. Yeah. This Saturday, guys, you do not want to miss out. And then after that, we got LST, which that's why we brought out the SEMA build. I know you guys haven't seen this one. It's at the house chilling inside the garage. I actually brought it out today. There's a little knickknacks here that's gonna be going back to paint so we can get it nice and crispy for LST. We're also supposed to be taking the monster truck. Hopefully that comes out here pretty soon so we can put the new wheels. Big shout out to my boy, Chris at JTX Forge. He made us a special wheel for that monster truck. Now, these guys got some new designs coming out and we got one of the new designs that are coming out here pretty soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Like I said, the giveaway is live right now. Remember guys, every 10 hours, they will get you one entry. We got some shirts and stickers that will give you multiple entries and we do have a cash option which is thirty thousand dollars it's not gonna be 60 last time it was 60 now it's 30. i actually want somebody just to take the truck but if they take the cash if you need more of the cash than the truck we understand take the money but that's why the cash option is really 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 low i actually have 10 grand right here in my pocket there you go. yeah so we're missing another 20. So, like I said, Alex is actually gonna go to Oklahoma with my boys at SNR Designs to get this thing buffed out, make it show ready, and then the guys are gonna bring the truck back for LST, which is here in two weeks. But right now, we're gonna be heading out to the muffin shop and let's roll. It's a 6.0 and it's all wheel drive. It's all, yes, it's all wheel drive, but I think it's actually heavier than Perrillo's truck. True. Perrillo's light. Perrillo ain't got no tear. He got yeah. two seats. Oh, he got a sound system. It's got a sound system. It's an all wheel drive truck, so it might jump on Perrillo, but it all, it's also heavy because it has the whole front axles and fucking transmission is bigger and all that shit. So, uh, it's going to be here pretty soon. Tiene que Just too much back pressure, maybe while tuning it. 
just a little bit of everything. So we just got this project. We got it just the way it is. Don't think that I took the truck somewhere else, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that. So we bought it and it, we thought it was just a, a small leak, but no, it's, it's actually a big one. We bought it like that. We bought it with the leak. <laughs> so just put a new Y. Yeah, everything else looks good. I don't see any leaks or nothing. Yeah. I don't see any spots or nothing like that, so. That back is hitting the rear end, but I could just put a hanger on there. So just lift it up a little bit more and see if I can look bigger. I can have this one done right now, but. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna wait here. All right guys, so I thought it was a small leak, but it's a bigger leak. Now the truck has a Y, so the headers come down and then they join together and they have a small Y that they add. And uh, it's missing the top part, so my boy Rolando's gonna fix that and give us a new Y. This truck I actually caught Perillo out with this one. Now, both similar trucks, we were just talking about this earlier on the way over here. They're both so similar. This one's all-wheel drive truck and it's a newer model. That truck, Perillo's truck, is actually a lot, lot, lot lighter than this one, just because this one does have an all-wheel drive system in the front and it's a cat eye. Cat eyes are more, heavier than the bubble lights besides that this one does have this one does have a full interior center console you know every panel and it even does have a sound system but it doesn't have anything now i'm not making no excuses we're just we're just comparing, we're just comparing. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. it doesn't matter who wins or loses it's just to have a good time it, i don't care if i lose to perillo you know what i mean he cares that's not the point that's not the point i'm just you know we're just stating facts the difference between this vehicle and that right. vehicle you know what i mean now he is gonna beat me right now if i race him so i want to add some nitrous to the truck so what do i do Call up our boy Rudy at Nitrous Outlet. And my boy Rudy is gonna be sending us a nitrous kit for this is cloning. Once we get the nitrous kit, we're gonna install it and then go to the streets of Mexico and race Perillo either. I need to get a dig, bro. I need to get a dig. I doubt he gives you a dig because this thing should launch like a bat out of hell. Look, I'm gonna race them with street tires. Yeah, okay. okay. And we can do a dig. Yeah. He can race with slicks. We'll do a dig. I'll have a street tire. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's right there. Now, I still think Perillo's gonna get it because Perillo's a lot lighter. He does have a 6 so He does have a big cam. And he does have a lot of nitrous. And when I raced him with the 420 Killer, that truck was, I mean, it barely beat him, bro. I mean, I beat him the last races, but there was something wrong with the nitrous kit. It wasn't a fair race for him. But the time that we did race, we were like right there, neck to neck, bro. It's either him or me. It was real close. And that truck was making about 500 horsepower. So once we get this one with the nitrous kit, my boy Rudy is going to send us a whole kit. Big shout out to my boy Rudy at Nitrous Outlet, always hooking us up. He sent us a couple of plates and we're gonna be trying out different stuff, see which one fits and which one we like better. So if you're looking for a Nitrous kit, it's easy, it's uh, cheaper than going supercharger, it's cheaper than going turbo, it's cheaper than doing anything. Get your Nitrous kit, or it's gonna wake up either your car or your truck, and at least gonna give you about 100 horsepower. Now, if you spray too much, if you spray too much, they're gonna be showing up because the truck's on fire. <laughs> Let's hear how it sounds. Hopefully it's not too quiet. I think it's gonna be pretty quiet. That was a big ass fucking hole. It sounds pretty good. I don't know if we're gonna keep this exhaust. You know me, I like it loud, so we might. I had the 420 exhaust on this one as well, but it doesn't sound too bad. We're gonna drive it around. We're gonna see how it sounds. We're gonna put the nitrous kit. We're gonna see if it grows in me. If it's just too quiet, then we might have to either put the 420 exhaust. We're just talking to Orlando right now, or we can put a Corvette exhaust on this thing. We pretty much pulled up here a couple of months ago and we created the 420 exhaust which was long tube headers x pipe dual bullets magna flows and then the piping all the way to the back and that is really really loud but it has that exhaust we had that on the 420 killer and we have that on little yeezy which is the burnout truck which is 4x4 too right now a little joker now a little joker now now well, i was talking right here about Port Orlando, and i was thinking about a new exhaust setup and we're talking about having an exhaust on a truck that sounds like a corvette now it's a 
lot more work. What is the difference between a regular truck exhaust and a Corvette exhaust? Now, I know what's the difference, but there's a lot of people that might not know. So let's explain to them what is it exactly because we might be doing that exhaust on this one because it's too quiet. I mean, in theory, yes, the Corvette, they have the exhaust in the back. They and do. yeah, theoretically, if you put the muffler in the back, you'll make it sound like a Corvette. It sounds like a Corvette. I mean, it's a challenge, but we can make it happen. So normally you got the headers that come out yes. and then you put the muffler Turns around about right here. A muffler box goes in between right here. Yeah. It doesn't go any further or any closer to the engine. It goes around right here. If it's an extended cab, it still goes yeah, around all right trucks, here. All yeah, all trucks go around right here. Now, the Vets and the Camaros, the yeah, Mustangs, Camaro, Mustang, the Mustangs, all those, yeah. Pretty much all the sports cars, they have the box all the way to the back. Which, well, let's explain, there are boxes over here. This was right here for a Mustang. So yeah, they have a resonator and the mufflers in the back. So normally on a truck, we, the muffler is right here. Yeah. And then we do all this, and then the pipes, whenever you see the tips, it comes all the way to the back. With the cars, they have the actual box in the very back, just like this. Now, this is a stock exhaust, right? Yeah, this is like an antique Mustang. But if you were to put an exhaust on a brand new Mustang or Camaro, you cut this off and then you add the box here. Yeah, we put them in the back, yeah. The aftermarket box yeah. either, which is Magnaflow, Flowmaster, Horsa, Borla, whatever. So. I want to try this on a truck. He said, yeah, he's done it like maybe once or twice, but we haven't done it yet. So maybe now that the truck is fixed, it's a little quiet. I like it. It sounds good, but I want it a little bit louder. So we might bring the truck back or we might bring another truck and do a Corvette style exhaust on a truck. So we'll be running the long tube headers all the way to the back. Yeah. And it, then if you do that, I say I don't have anything on display, but do it like the Corvette with the four tips. Don't do two single tips, do all four. All and put them all down the middle. Unless you want them on the sides. Well, we'll figure that out once yeah. we bring the truck. But, are you sure it sounds like a van? I think so, it'll sound different. You'll, now, pro you'll we'll, probably get more of a hollow sound. Right now, we're gonna add an X-pipe and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, we'll add all here. that stuff, yeah. An X-pipe all the way to the back, and then the actual muffler box, and then the tips. Yeah. That's exciting. I'd put them down the middle. I don't know about the sides. I don't know if it'll fit in the back on the sides. I, you're gonna have to stick it in the middle. In the middle. But we can make it happen here. Okay. All right. Well, y'all don't pull up before me. I want to try this. We're gonna have to do this soon, Frank. As soon as possible. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this this week because I know by the time this video drops, somebody's gonna pull up here or in another place. They're gonna be like, "Let me get that exhaust." But we're gonna bring the truck here first, probably Wednesday this week. Cause like I said, we got truck nationals this week coming up. Now the race trucks are down, so we have a lot of free time until they're done. So we might bring the truck back tomorrow or in two days and get the Corvette exhaust sign. Now, if you want to beat me to it, you can come over here on Borrolando at Aces. What's the address? This one's at 9620 Granis. And then you have three more locations. Three more, Pasadena, Heights, and in Humble. There you go. So there's four locations here in Houston, but we're going to try to beat everybody too. And after that, once we do the offer, y'all can come and get it. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a uh, non the gas special. Kind of like the 420 special, you know? We'll create a new name for that exhaust, and then y'all can come and get the exact same thing. But I do want to be the first one. So uh, we're going to head back to the shop and see if Perillo's almost done with his work. Quiet, it's not too loud. We can actually conversate and talk inside the truck. Earlier, we were like screaming in here, yelling, yeah. and trying to talk. The rumble was pretty bad. The rumble was pretty bad. This is actually nice now. And I like trucks that sound like this because when they have sound systems, you can actually jam. True, true, true. It was just way too loud earlier. This truck does have long tube headers and it does have a big magnet for actually. The bigger the muffler, the more quiet it is. So if you see a big muffler next time under a truck, that means the truck's gonna be kind of quiet. If you see a real small muffler, that means that the truck or car might be a little louder. Now we are gonna bring the truck back and get the Corvette exhaust kind of done. I know we are not the first ones. People just find stuff to talk shit about, right? It's so weird because it's like, guys, just enjoy the video. You don't have to knickknack and look for yeah. fucking imperfections about shit. It's all fun and games. Yeah. Like I said, I know we're not the first ones, but I'm sure somebody already did it, but I haven't done it. We haven't done it, so we're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? If it's this one, or what other truck we can bring? Well, we have to think about it because Rolando was saying the truck can't be too slammed. He's gotta be kind of, I know everything's fucking slammed, so it's kind of worse. He did say, and this one isn't. Yeah. So this one might be the perfect contender for the Corvette exhaust on the truck. Now, he did say that it's gonna be more expensive than the regular exhaust just because it's gonna be a true dual. There's gonna be more piping involved. There's gonna be double muffler, but we wanna create like a badass Corvette exhaust so whenever you guys hear it on our next video, I want you guys to pull over on Orlando and ask for the Corvette exhaust on the truck. We haven't come up with the name yet, 
but we'll we'll come up with it. Frank was actually already. I thinking. was already brainstorming, thinking like stupid ass names. Okay, yeah. Veterado, Silver Vet, Silver Vet. You know what I'm saying? Because it's Silverado and Corvette. Silver Red Exhaust, something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Where's Parrillo wants to pull up to his shop. Oh yeah! Parrillo says no chance. We're the dick, dog. Do that. You can't do this. <laughs> it's a struggle, bro. Now I'm not complaining. It's all fun and games. It's not. I'm not complaining about it. But when you have a race truck or like a short truck like this caliber, you need a trailer like this. You can't really transport this truck in an open trailer. Now you can, but the possibilities of it getting a chip or a scratch, it's higher. And if I barely fit, then I'm like 180, 185, 511. You're not six foot today? Uh, 5'11'6. <laughs> slim cat. <laughs> and I'm not that old either. I see some comments that people call me uncle. What's up, bud? 25 year old <laughs> call me uncle. I'm 30, bro. So I'm five years older than you. I'm not that old. You know what I'm saying? They call me uncle. Hey, wait, yeah, you yeah, don't pull the way for a kilo, right? Ni por allá ni por acá. You don't got nothing in your pocket that's gonna scratch it? Nothing. We need a escape door. Anybody told you to be fat, bro. Oh, oh, I was just man. talking about I was just talking about that. Hey bro, call me. <laughs> call me get some change, bro. Call me get some change. Oh, you know what it is? It's all this it's money I'm paying, bro. Is, dog. It's making me thicker. Ah. That's what it is. Tiny, Tiny doesn't fit here, he ain't got no money. Hey, wait, no careful. You got you made it already, no? I'm stuck. Oh, it gets wide right there. Uh, I'm literally stuck. Is he pulling you out? Yes. Como la vas a hacer, Alex? For real. I know how to do it, bro. Make some, uh, make some uh, towers. I'll take cotton sweats oh, when I travel. Ah, but I must pegado este lado, wey. No, no, don't, don't give me that no, shit. It's the same. It's the same. Look, Look at this. It's the same, wey. Wait, why are the lights on? Did I let the lights on? What lights on? Where's the key? It's in there. You don't lock by himself? Fuck, I'm about to go back. What happened? Oh, you left the lights on? Or you left the key forward? No, no, no. I took off the key. I do take off my shoes when I uh, load this one. Still on? Yeah. Still on. Huh. There it goes. Yeah, maybe, open. maybe the door wasn't shut all the way? No, no, I opened the door and closed it like five times. Well, at least we know the bed works. So in case we want to use this truck for construction. You know it holds. You know it me? holds the weight. Now it holds 180 pounds. I don't know if it holds 350. 340, 347, 347. We round up, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's why he's six foot. 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, people, people say I'm short. They'll be like, oh, that's a cap on his, on his height. And then I got 25 year old calling me uncle and I'm 30. You know what I mean? Why are you gonna call me uncle? We're the same age, bro. I'm your older brother. What's up, uncle? Big shout out to Orion and SNR Designs. If you guys didn't know this, how you pump gas.
take this off right there. Yeah. Making sure you don't scratch this thing. Oh yeah. Now once that's done, you do this. This color right here is real sick. And if you're interested in this color right here, you know where to go. Orion finishes us. They're the only ones that carry this color. With that girl Tammy. Yeah. So we do not have the color code and you cannot get the color code. But if you want to buy this paint, just go over at Orion finishes. Orion finishes on Instagram or Facebook and homegirl Tammy can get you straight. You can buy a gallon, two gallons, five gallons. You can paint all your trucks or cars the same color. Now you gotta know how to throw it. So make sure you ask for the base coat, what color base coat. Make sure to use a good clear and make sure you buy the paint from Tammy and Orion. If not, it's not gonna look like this. Now this is a color combination that we got that we actually mixed up ourselves and we came up with this. It's red, but it looks orange, but it looks red and you can see a little bit of gold. I mean, it's just, it's a crazy red color. We call this color the on the gas red, which we also do have a on the gas blue, which we'll be painting something on the gas blue. And we do also have an on the gas white, which is the big rig, the big 18 wheel that we got coming out. We need to go to San Antonio, bro. It's been a while. We dropped that thing off in March. We, should go, we should go. Day trip or what? Yeah. These days. Gonna rain. like on wednesday or thursday people been asking for an update on the truck we still got the truck it's in the works it's still you know getting worked on it's a show truck so my boy rolando is building that thing from scratch like he's not doing the regular paint job that he usually does on the regular 18 wheeler he's actually taking everything apart so it's a lot of work a lot of labor but we are getting a brand new paint job on that one the frame is going to be this color which is going to be cool and the truck the actual body on the truck the cab the sleeper and everything is going to be that on the gas white but we need to go to san antonio because over there texas crow and uh give you guys an update on the Peterbilt 389. Now, we will have that thing at HBT Shootout, which is the final shootout, April 1st. You do not want to miss out. I mean, we got Truck Nationals coming up, and then we got LST right after that, and then we got a meeting in Dallas with our boys from Andes Troca. And then, um, yeah, the final shootout, HBT Shootout, April 1st. You do not want to miss out. Also, we'll be going to Ennis. Dogmaster is having a race out there, and we'll be out there. We'll be taking a couple of race trucks, for sure, Brownie, maybe Holly, I don't know, Crawfish for sure, maybe crack kid i know my boy freddy's gonna be out there as well it's gonna be april 8th at texas motorplex in ennis texas the weekend right after hpt shootout yes so we'll be out there right after the final shootout we'll be out there in ennis which is gonna be the dallas fort worth area we'll be having like i said crawfish brownie for sure maybe perrillo before 420. we're gonna give dunk masters a smoke right we are gonna try he's fast we're racing him we're racing somebody else i don't know we're racing him in another car right i want to say we're racing him with crawfish yeah. yeah but we're not racing his dunk we're racing a different car yeah, we're racing a different car. Yes, we are racing in a different car, which is a fast car. We're just going to go out there and put on a show for you guys. You know, we're just trying to go have a good time, have some fun. I've never been to a big wheel race event before. This is going to be our first time attending, and we're probably going to pull up in the 18 wheeler. So, y'all stay tuned for that. That is coming so, up here in the next two months. So, for April 1st, <laughs> homeboy's bringing down the rig, or we're going to go get it? No, we're going to go get the rig. The rig is going to be at the show to this place, so y'all can check it out. Is and he going to come down? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. If y'all want him to be here, we could probably say something. Up. Yeah. Maybe all my Raza people want to see him, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy Roland actually had a show in Discovery Channel Espanol called Texas Trocas. Yeah, I think Four Seasons. Four Seasons. I mean, he still pimps out 18-wheelers. He's pimping out our 18-wheeler. We were supposed to be coming out on the show, but he decided not to record just because he's so busy. But when they start recording, we'll probably take the trailer and get the trailer decked out and the truck's going to be ready. So, uh, y'all yeah, wait on that. That's going to be pretty interesting as well. Like I said, Truck Nationals is going down this week and coming up. You do not want to miss out. The weather looks pretty good looking real good it's gonna be cold it's gonna be cold but my boy frank gonna be out there with all them hoodies we're gonna have the on the gas booth right true yes sir so swing by get your beanies get your hoodies we're gonna have a bunch of gear out there now that we're talking about hoodies let's go talk about the new hoodie. yeah that we're fixing to drop so by the time this video drops you can actually cop the new hoodie we're on tv actually right now Little Uzi already came up, right? Yeah, yeah. Little Uzi already passed by. We were watching it. We lost. Discovery. We lost yeah. against Ryan Martin. But it's cool to lose against the fastest guy. It is. And I wasn't driving. It was Roy. <laughs> it was Roy. So we talked about the hoodie. And here it is, guys. We finally got some in. So this is the packaging of it. Of course, the logo. And uh, we actually have the size right here. You know? You pull it out. Nice. So here it is, guys. This is the exclusive merch that mm -hmm. we got. Yeah, it's on you, like premium line. Yeah, premium line. It's a different kind of hoodie. It's a little softer too, different material. Even, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you're gonna get it dirty, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks faded, right? But it's not faded. This is the way the hoodie is. This is the look of it. I don't want you to get this damn hoodie talking about, oh, it's all faded. No, sometimes I just don't get it, bro. Sometimes, you know. They ain't up to swag like me. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so remember guys, all of our hoodies are screen printed, which is kind of like this one. You know what I'm saying? The one in the back. It's just, pressed on there. Just like that, just like that. And this hoodie is a different brand than this one. This one, it's a better quality hoodie. And this hoodie right here is actually gonna be more expensive. Just because the hoodie is harder to get, it's better material and, yeah, check this out. It has suede. So it's not screen printed, it's not stitched, it's actually suede in here. So the white is suede and the red is suede as well. If you wanna get close, Frank, check that out. It looks so nice. So please, if you get one of these sweaters, make sure your hands are dirty, don't touch the suede because you're gonna fuck it up. Yeah, and especially when you wash it, there's a certain way to wash it. Make sure you Google that and figure it out yourself. Yes, but this is the new hoodie that we got coming out, guys. So by the time this video drops, it's already online. Get your hoodies ASAP. This hoodie right here is gonna give you 10 inches for the current giveaway that we got going on right now, which is which one, Tiny? The 2020 Duramax diesel. Yes. With a $30,000 cash option, right? Yes. Now we talked about the $30,000 cash option. I know it's not a lot i mean it is a lot it's a lot but compared to what the truck's actually worth it's not it's not that truck was already a giveaway and we gave away sixty thousand dollars or the truck the winner took the money obviously he had plans so yeah he was gonna do something that he really needed to do and that's fine that's why we do these cash options now the cash option is not gonna be the same because i actually want them to take the truck once we do a giveaway on a truck it has to leave it can't stay so that truck needs to go to somebody that really wants the truck so i hope somebody takes the truck but if you are the winner and if you need the cash you're more than welcome to take the money because thirty thousand dollars is still a lot of money a lot. that's a good down payment in the house i mean you can pay your bills you can start a new business i mean you can do a lot of things with you can go buy another truck you can go buy another truck exactly we do these giveaways because we want everybody riding clean we do this for fun guys we do this for you guys see a bunch of negative comments talking about this and that and it's not like that we try to bless everybody i wish everybody can win a truck but it doesn't work like that you know it's just gonna be one lucky winner per giveaway and we fix up these trucks for you to take Take a badass truck already ready to roll with the on the gas sauce all you gotta do is participate and you might be the next lucky winner now all you gotta do is just take the risk take the chance spend ten dollars or more you know what i'm saying and we're gonna keep them coming we're gonna keep them coming we're gonna be blessing one by one we want the whole united states to be full of badass trucks because there's a lot of people like this guy that doesn't know how to pimp out the right <laughs> No, 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 no. But it goes back to the same thing. We want to bless everybody with the badass ride. And that's why we do these giveaways. I want you guys to understand that we do this for fun. We record ourselves every day. We do blogs for fun. You know what I mean? But people don't understand. We only been on YouTube, what, two years? Two years. But we've been in the game 10 plus years. On the Gas has been in the game 12 plus years. We actually started our first brand in 2008. And then in 2010, we started doing events, which was HPT Shootout yeah. at Sealy. And then 2011, we started doing shows at their Houston Raceway track. Yeah, at the time was Royal Purple Raceway, and yes. that's when we did the first OTM also. Yes, 2011, that's a long time ago, you know? We just started the YouTube two years ago. So our YouTube game is not that big because we just started two years. But the On The Gas, the company, ourselves, we've been doing this for 10 plus years. We've been pimping our rides, we've been racing. Now, but obviously we've been the fastest now, but back then everybody was slow. 13 seconds was fast as fuck. If you ran 13 seconds back in 2010, you were fast, fast, fast. It's like running sevens today. Yeah. But, you know, the technology, everybody got faster. Everything, you know, it just evolved. So now 13 seconds is slow. Not to everybody, but to the majority, you know, in the, in the racing game, 13 seconds is kind of slow. And a quarter mile, of course. But I just want to let everybody know that we do all this for you guys. We try to bless everybody. That's why we do these giveaways. We go live. We try to give you the best merch. We try to give you the best cash option that we could. And and most of the times y'all take the truck, but I understand if you want to take the money, that's fine. You're more than welcome to take the money. It's no problem. That's why we do the cash options because I know some people are more in need of the money than the actual truck. And I want the winner to actually appreciate the truck. And if you're not going to appreciate the truck, just take the money. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes they take the truck and then I see it for sale like a week later. Yeah, right away, guys. So if y'all don't want the truck, take the cash or hit us up and say, hey, how about I sell the truck back to you guys or something? Yes. With that being said, giveaway is live right now. Like I said, boy, Whenever we pick up the monster truck, we'll be dropping the truck off, which is the Toy and Turner Duramax, and we'll be wrapping at the new color. We haven't decided what color yet. Now, there was a couple of people talking about that blue was too much blue, but there's no such thing as too much blue. No. There's no such thing as too much red. Or too much green. Or too much green. I just which, gotta trust the process, bro. They have to trust the process. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing this for a long time. We've been, been pimping out trucks for the past 12 years, and we hardly miss. When so, you said you were gonna wrap this one, I thought you were crazy. Whenever I said I was gonna wrap this truck, all these colors 
Everybody looked at me stupid. They were like, bro, are you serious? Are you dumb? What are you thinking? What are you doing? Is the bitch gonna be ugly? And I mean, yeah, it was a risk that we took. And Adrian was one of those guys that was like, bro, yeah. you crazy, bro. Adrian doubts everything though, so. True, 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 true. But if I tell you I'm a rapper car or a truck with a bunch of colors, you're gonna think something's wrong with me. But it was just an, an idea. It was just a theme that we had in mind. And we just wanted something to pop. And this truck does pop. It's an it's iconic not, truck. It pops. Literally. Right there, it literally <laughs> pops. Yes. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, we're not gonna do it today. This one's actually getting you rep as well. We're just I'm waiting assuming. on Frank, right? Waiting on Frank. Yeah, waiting on we're waiting on Pixelworks to hit us up with the render, and then we're gonna do something really cool with this truck now. So with that being said, remember to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, follow us on Instagram, get the first scoop on what we're doing. It's a wrap. We're gonna see you guys on the next one. And remember, Truck Nationals Crunch Week going down this weekend, Saturday, February 18th, Eastern Raceway Park, presented by Nitrous Outlet. Don't wanna miss out.